That's right, you guys. Today we are talking about some of our favorite candies and ones that you love to make. Now, as you know, I'm a meat guy, not a giant fan of sweets, but I love chocolate and I love to have a little bit of fun with it. And there's so many different things you can add to truffles and they're super easy to make. Clinton, are you ready? I am ready. All right. What do you need me to do? Nothing yet. Good. <laughs> That's my favorite part. So, but look, this is the easiest thing. I use bittersweet chocolate for it. Yep. I just chunked it up into little pieces. You could just use a chef knife or a serrated knife, shave it off, throw it right in, or you could buy the bittersweet chocolate or more milk chocolate chips. Right. Uh, right. That's probably what I would do, just for the record. We have a little bit of cream here heating up. It's, it's at a simmer right now, almost a boil. You want to pour it over top? Oh, yeah, sure. And this starts to melt the chocolate. Look at mm. Mm. Be aggressive, Clint. Aggr Throw it in. Aggressive. <laughs> be, be aggressive, yeah. Okay. Mm, and yeah. as you whisk it, it all starts to melt. We hit that with a little nub of butter. And it's amazing how easy it is to make truffles. Is that a technical term, a nub? A nub. is a, It's a term I learned back in the 80s while going to culinary school. It really has changed my life, the term nub. A nub of butter. Yes. Yeah. All right. So Mixing we whisk in. it till mm. the chocolate melts and the butter melts. And I take this mixture and I put it in the fridge just so it chills. And I have one in the fridge if you want to go get it. Sure. I mean, this is so easy, even I could do it. And I am no pastry wizard. All right, so that will turn into this. Right, so beautiful. We're on our way. Now, Clinton, I want you to put on the rubber gloves because chocolate could get a little messy. Rubber gloves, really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me that after the age of 40, every man should have a prostate exam. It's true. You, you just had to go there. I, had, I cannot see a rubber glove without thinking about that. All right, I can't even get this on. Okay. I, you really and I'm don't 42, even... so that means two of them I've had. Okay. You really I can't believe I'm saying this. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> Clinton is gone. We're going to carry on with the segment. You really don't even need the rubber gloves. I just wanted to see Clinton put them on. <laughs> <laughs> now, so the truffle has, has tempered, it's chilled out, and you just get a little ice cream scoop and you roll it right into the little truffle balls. Just like this. Are you still putting those things on? They're not easy, dude. Okay, all right. All right, right. now see, we have our truffle. All we did is scoop them out. All right, I'll Now, here's where it gets fun, and you could have fun with, you could make adult versions, kids' version, you could make them for your kids, whatever you want to do. I have all kinds of different toppings that we're going to roll the truffles in. I have shredded coconut, a little bit of cocoa, some crispy bacon, which we chopped up really small. Don't go there. Uh, a, a, a little bit of chopped nuts, some ground up peppermint, pretzels, and then things that you could sprinkle on top too. Chili flake, lime zest, uh, oh, wow. sea salt, wasabi. So this what's, your, what's your favorite flavor? Huh? Um, I like coconut. Go, all right, go in there. My uh, hands don't look so good. All right, coconut, coconut on the bowls, all right. And then <laughs> Do you want anything coconut else? lime is nice. All right, a little bit of lime. All right, coconut, So look, lime now you zest. have this beautiful little truffle. Ooh, that is like beautiful. So. How much fun would this be at a party? And, and with kids too, it gets them all, take off your gloves. <laughs> And you just keep going, and you can make any kind of flavor that you want. You guys, what, what, what are your, what's your favorite flavor? I like that coconut nut option, too. I, I think, know. Yeah. Pretzel and hot chilies. Pretzel and hot chilies. Pretzel and hot chilies, Pretzel okay, and hot chilies for Chef Patelli. Right. I would like the bacon, actually. Oh, Carla, you're a girl after my own heart. How much chili should I put on here? Here, just, just sprinkle just some sprinkle. chili right on top. Yeah. And look, oh, here's a bunch of different ones yeah, that those we are made. Pretty. So you could see. And, and you could just do all kinds of variations. You can make them as small or large as you want. And something like this to buy at the store costs a fortune. You could make it no problem at home for a lot less money, and they're delicious. So 30 of these cost about 75 bucks at the fancy store, but made at home, the whole thing is 15 beans. 15 beans. Remarkable. That's dollars. And they're to beautiful, you. fun. <laughs> Now, these, these look amazing, but, you know, I actually was doing a little, little clothing shopping this weekend and chocolate shopping, and I found some chocolate accessories. Check this out. Very nice. Yeah, woohoo! Oh, cool. This is a design by Martin Howard and Michael Plosky from the annual New York Chocolate Show. And these guys are here in the audience today. Hey, fellas, how you doing? Good. Lovely work. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. What made you come up with this idea for a chocolate accessorized dress? Well, we've always kind of dabbled with uh, costume design and Martin being in pastry. Uh, we just combined our two passions and came up with chocolate, fashion, and accessories. Fantastic. Love it. <laughs> Gorgeous. So you guys, you can have all kinds of chocolate fun at Halloween. You can make a dress, you can make a truffle, I can make an airplane out of that. But you can get all these recipes at thechew.com. Come back for more sweet treats.